The report covers government contributions into Social Security between 1979 and 2020. It is clear in saying, quote, the largest aggregate cash payment has been made by the current administration. No prior administration had paid as much into Social Security, end quote. The figures bear this out. This was broken down in the uh, Social Security Board report covering administrations. So the first one, the 1979 to 2003, the ALP administrations of Sir Veer and Sir Lester, and the amount paid over to Social Security, $11.9 million. 2004 to 2013, that was the years, the two terms of the United Progressive Party, the UPP. Contributions to Social Security, $76.3 million. And 2040 to 2020, that is the period of the current ABLP administration, the Gaston Brown administration, $161.7 million. It therefore shows that during of all these periods, the current administration from the Social Security Board itself, saying that the present administration has paid the most into Social Security. Regarding contribution arrears, the ALP administrations between 1979 and 2003 racked up over $204 million under the UPP administration of 2004 to 2009 had arrears of $98.1 million. Liabilities, and this covers the years 1979 to 2009, look at a whopping over half a billion dollars in terms of liabilities. This covers in terms of uh, borrowings, a treasury bill, uh, in terms of uh, bonds as well, several in terms of liabilities covered by this period, 1979 to 2009, $549.5 million. For Prime Minister Brown, who is also Finance Minister, the figures vindicate his administration's efforts to strengthen Social Security. He's quoted as saying, The vulnerability of Social Security is due to the failure by previous ALP and UPP administrations to pay their premiums. In terms of borrowings from Social Security, the report says the current government has not borrowed any funds from Social Security. That cannot be said of other administrations, though. The report showed UPP in 2007 was issued a demand loan of $3.1 million for onward lending specifically for the purchase of shares in Liat. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Brown explains that his administration has had to make up for a decline in contributions from the private sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He says this has allowed for pension payouts to be maintained, though these payments are sometimes delayed. Garfield Burford, ABS News.